When Kobe asked me to do deer basketball, that was the scariest thing. You've got the worst basketball player on earth animating you. He said, well, that's okay. Now you're gonna have to, everything you learn about it is gonna be through studying his moves on the court. And, and it's true. I was like a blank slate that, and I found that living in the skin whether it's a mermaid or a beast or a basketball player, you become them. You animate from the inside out. Ollie Johnston, one of Walt Disney's nine old men, he named him after the Supreme Court, so there's nine old men. Ollie would say, Glenn, don't animate what the character is doing. Animate what the character is thinking. It's like, well, how do you do that? You're animating the invisible thing, the hidden motivations in the heart. And I see myself as an artist first and an animator second. I'm Glenn Keane. I'm an animator and also a director of the short film Dear Basketball. My first step in animating Dear Basketball was to write out Kobe's letter in every word. And as I started storyboarding it, it happened very quickly. When I got to the end, there was this magical moment where I realized that little Kobe and big Kobe were going to be on the court together. And that was like a moment of like, this is so cool. I, this is gonna, this is so, so much more than a short little film about basketball. So it was this moment right here where little Kobe and big Kobe are on the court together. I mean, when, when that happened, I realized, okay, so this isn't just deer basketball. This is deer animation. My dad is a cartoonist. Uh, he worked at home and he created a comic strip based on our family when I was a kid. Um, but dad would come up to me and he'd say, Glenn, I'm a cartoonist. You're an artist. There was something in my drawing that he said, you're an artist. And he gave me a book called uh, Dynamic Anatomy when I was mm, about nine years old. Um, and it was the most wonderful thing that he saw me as an artist and, and wanted me to learn about the muscles and the bones and, and to approach drawing more from a classical drawing uh, standpoint. So that was my goal. I wanted to be an artist, but I think God has uh, greater designs on us than we're aware. And I discovered that animation was the ultimate art form. I mean, it's, it, it has acting, it has drawing, it has filmmaking. And, design and music and dance and everything together is is in this art form it's an incredibly humbling art form i don't think, feel like you ever you you never arrive uh, picasso said i'm always doing that which i cannot do in order that i may learn how to do it when kobe asked me to do deer basketball that was the scariest thing i mean i can be a mermaid, I can be the beast, I can be anything I imagine, you know, what, if I can imagine myself as, as a mermaid swimming under the water, I can be that. But to be a basketball player, I was the worst basketball player. When I'm starting something to animate, to learn a new creative path, I start to fill my mind with the techniques. I learn how do you shoot? What are, what are, the, what are the principles that you, you need to understand to be able to shoot a basket? Um, I studied that. I, I studied Kobe's fade shot where he's jumping and he's leaning back and the angle of his right hand and 
his left hand supporting that ball to the to the way that he releases it all the way to how the ball just comes off of his his broken index finger and um and he's leaping in the air leaning back and his right hip is just a little forward and all of those elements studied that and animated that to the point that I felt like I was doing it. When I'm starting something to animate, to learn a new creative path, I start to fill my mind with the techniques of basketball, like for, for deer basketball. I learn, how do you shoot? What are, what are the... What are the principles that you, you need to understand to be able to shoot a basket? To the point where, <laughs> after having done it, I thought, I could do this. I mean, I was terrible at basketball, but now I know I can do this. And we were at the uh, Lakers training uh, camp, and um, at the end of the evening, I went out of the court. All the lights were, were off. I found out how to turn them on. I found a basketball. I thought, I'm going to do this. and. So I went out to the, to the three-point zone and I'm you know, dribbling the ball and, and I'm, I'm animating myself. And, and I jumped into the air, leaning back just as if it was a defender there. And as I'm doing that, I'm throwing my right hip just a little bit forward. And my hand is just right in my right hand all the way to the point where I'm releasing it. And I remembering Kobe saying, sometimes I feel like even after the ball has left my finger, I can still control it. And I'm remembering all of that, and, whew, and the ball is just traveling across. It's like, I can't believe it. It's actually working, and the ball is straight line for, for the hoop, and this just fell 10 feet short. Okay, so I'm not Kobe, but I lived that moment. Because I'd lived it every time, I'd been playing it the, for nine months uh, as I was animating Kobe. It's real. <laughs>